Hello everyone. This is in continuation to our topic, linear programming problem. Uh, we used to have the following four assumptions uh, in linear programming problem. Number one, linearity. Number two, divisibility. Number three, non-negativity. Number four, additivity. Now let us see each one of them, linearity. It is formally defined as the amount of resource required for a given activity level is directly proportional to the level of that activity. We will understand this linearity uh, assumption through an example. If the number of hours required on a particular mission, uh, specific mission, let us say drilling mission, uh, for a particular activity is five hours per unit, then for uh, uh, 10 units, it is going to take 5 into 10, 50 hours. So it is directly proportional. That is what is called as linearity. Then second uh, assumption is divisibility. It means that uh, even the decimal values or fractional values are allowed for the decision variables, whatever we are uh, considering in a linear programming problem. Decision variables can have fractional or decimal values also. That is called divisibility. Then the third one is non-negativity. Uh, it means the decision variables are permitted to have only non-negative values, means it can be either zero or it can be positive. Third, sorry, fourth uh, assumption is additivity. It means that the total output for a given combination of activity levels is the algebraic sum of the output of each individual process. Again, we will understand this assumption through this example. Means uh, if I am calculating the total profit of an objective function, that is uh, determined by individual sum of the profit obtained by each product separately. Uh, if there are three products, uh, each product you calculate the profit and some of those will give you the total profit. Similarly, uh, the total amount of resources used is determined by the individual sum of resources for each product. Uh, product A, product B, product C, how much resources used required for product A of a particular resource, how much resource required for a product B, how much resource required for product C. Some of those will give you the total resource, the total amount of the resource of the specific resource required. That is what is additivity. So these are the four assumptions we used to consider uh, while creating, formulating and solving a linear programming problem. In case if you find the contents of this video to be useful to you, I request you to please like it share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.